and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing our giant happy Hanukkah die. We'll also be introducing our giant happy fall die and our giant trick or treat die. So let's go ahead and check them out. First, we're gonna take a look at each of these die cut. And this is the giant trick or treat. And I just love that scripty ore in the center. It's so cute. Then here we have our giant happy fall. And of course that scripty haul mixed with the giant happy just makes me smile. And then we also have our giant happy Hanukkah. Next up, Shari is gonna be creating three adorable cards with some really cool techniques. So take it away, Shari. So today I'm going to show you a really fun trick using the Simply Celebrate Fall stamps. I'm using that candy corn and I have a piece of Bristol cardstock and then jellyfish ink. And after some experimenting, this is the magic combination to make this magical technique work. You have to have the Bristol cardstock and jellyfish ink. It doesn't work on any other cardstock. So I'm just taking that jellyfish ink and stamping my candy corn and making a background full of candy corn. So you can see that you can see that a little bit because our jellyfish ink is great for no line watercoloring, but I'm gonna show you a really fun technique that I discovered using this ink. So I've got my candy corn stamped all over the background, and now I'm going to ink blend with Distress Ink. This also only works with Distress Ink. Distress Oxides have that pigment and this magical transformation that you're gonna see only works with Distress Ink. So there's the magic combination. Distress Ink, Bristol cardstock, and Jellyfish Ink. And you can see there that when I add that ink to the background, those candy corn jump out, almost like they're a slightly darker shade of that same ink color. So I've done my yellow. Then I'm coming in with my orange using carved pumpkin and I'm going to add orange to the middle and then I'll just leave the top white. So you're kind of gonna see those ghosted candy corns at the top. So I'm coloring my background in the same colors of a piece of candy corn. And how cool is that? That you get this sort of tone on tone, ghosted image in the background. Now I'm going to add some gold splatters. So I've got some shimmer that catches the eye and catches the light on this card. So I'm just getting that watercolor real soupy, picking it up with my paintbrush and then tapping it to get those splatters. I've added some of that yellow gold and then I'm going to go in with the white and add that as well. And I think that both of these colors go great with the colors on the background because I have that really bright yellow gold and then the white at the top. And I'm just flicking this off the side of my block and this will give me smaller white splatters and bigger gold splatters. And you can see how that really catches the light and shines. Now I'm using the giant trick or treat die and I am cutting this sentiment from some black glitter cardstock. I'm also going to cut it just from some plain black cardstock and stack these up so I get a really thick die cut sentiment. So I've only got two black ones of plain cardstock. I'll stack those together using liquid glue and then I'll add liquid glue and stack the glitter one on top. So this is a really fun way to kind of give that sentiment a little more height and a little more dimension off that background. And I'm not having to worry with a bunch of small foam squares behind it. So I've got a black piece of cardstock cut to five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm just layering this onto my card base. You could of course make a black card base, but it makes it a little difficult to write inside sometimes when you have a black card, unless you use a white gel pen. So this is an easy way to get a black card, but have a nice white part inside to write on. I've added some foam tape all over the back of that panel that we created. And then I'm just going to center that up onto my black card base. And I get that nice black frame all the way around it. And then finally, to finish off this really fun card, I can add some liquid glue to my die cut sentiment. And then I'll just center that up on that ink blended panel with all those really fun candy corns in the background. 
And then here is my finished card with that really fun kind of ghosted image technique in the background. I love all that shimmer and shine and that sparkly sentiment is just so much fun. So today I'm creating a Hanukkah card using the giant happy Hanukkah die cut sentiment. I've pulled a blue out of the textured canvas cardstock, the blue pack, and that's what I'm going to be cutting my sentiment from. For the background, I am pulling out the Let It Shine Starry Skies Petite Paper Pack, and I will be using the white background that has the little gray stars in it. This is going to be the background for my card. I'm using the largest of the small mini slimline stackables to cut this out, so when I put this on my mini slimline, it will have a little border around it. And I've cut my card base from some narwhal cardstock, so I have that lighter gray border around my white panel. I'm also going to be using images from the Love You Alaka stamp set to complete my card. I've stamped out the pan, the lakas, the menorah, and now I'm going to stamp the flames for my candles using some colored ink. So first I'm starting with sunflower and stamping the solid candle flames. And then I will take the stamp that is the outline, line that up, and I'll be stamping the outline of these flames with some fake tan. I think it's fun that the flames come separately in this set that you can do that. Now I'm going to line up the coordinating dies and cut them out. I've already colored my images. And then I can start to assemble them. So of course I'll just put those lock cuts in the pan. And then you can see that the flames, the die that cuts the flames cuts out pieces behind the candles, which makes it really easy to line these up with the candles of the menorah. Now that I have my images assembled, I'm just taking some Forget Me Not ink and I'm stamping a couple of the stars around on that background panel. I am only using four, I don't want to fill it up too much. And now I've put some foam tape all over the back of this panel and put it onto my Narwhal cardstock card base. I'm going to add some liquid glue all over the back of the die cut sentiment and line that up. I'm not going to push down the edges just yet because I want to put that menorah kind of behind that H in the word happy. So I'm just adding some glue to the back of this. It's going to pop up off the top of the card which I think is a really fun look. And then I'll do the same with the pan and let the handle of the pan overlap the edge of the card as well. And then finally to finish this off I'm using the sparkle glaze pen and just adding a little dab of glitter to each of the flames of the candles. And then this is my completed mini slimline happy Hanukkah card. I think it's really fun that those images kind of go off the sides of the card and kind of expand past the edges. On my card today, I'm using the absolutely awesome images I've already colored, cut them out with the coordinating dies, and I'm also going to use the giant happy fall for my sentiment. I'm going to start out with my background piece. I am making a slimline card today. So I have a piece of yellow spiffy speckles paper cut to three and a half by eight and a half, and this is going to be the background for my card. I'm pulling in some distress ink, this is Wild Honey, and I'm just pulling that ink in on the sides and the top in those corners. I'm not concerned about the bottom because I'm going to be covering that up with some more pattern paper. Of course, I always want something to kind of catch the light and catch your eye, and so I'm adding some gold metallic watercolor splatters to this background. It has those speckles in the paper already. Some got covered up by the ink, so this is going to give me even more speckles and texture in that background. Now for the ground, I thought it would be fun to use some pattern paper. So I've pulled out the Gotta Have Gingham Rainbow Petite Paper Pack, and I'm going to pull out that diagonal green gingham. This is going to be my ground or my grass. 
So I'll just trim this down to a smaller piece that is the same width as my card front. I'm using my die that says Happy Fall and my images to kind of line them up and get the spacing right so I know where to cut the simple stitch hillside border that's going to be the top of my grass. So with all these pieces here, I know how high I need to cut that and I can just tape that die into place and cut the top of that piece of pattern paper. As you can see there, I have that giant happy fall. I've cut that from some paper bag card stock. And then I'm also going to cut the fall part of it from a piece of orange pattern paper from the Into the Woods paper pack. So I just need to cut that fall. And then I'm going to trim off the pieces of the happy that are stuck to the top of it so that I just get that scripty fall. I think this is a really fun way to kind of get a different look out of these giant sentiment dies to cut one word out of one color and another word out of a different kind of paper. And then you can easily just layer this onto that full die cut. So you can see I'm putting some liquid glue all over that scripty word fall. And then I'll just layer this piece of pattern paper over top. Now that I have all my pieces kind of prepped, I can start to assemble my card. So of course I'm starting with that large background piece. I've just put adhesive all over the back and put it onto my slimline card base. Then I can glue my gingham grass to the bottom. And I'll just use some liquid glue for that. And of course just line up the bottom of that grass with the bottom of the card. The next I'm going to just lay my tree here for a minute. I am going to go ahead and add that little mouse that is hiding up in the tree, chomping on some apples. And then this will give me the spacing to go ahead and put my sentiment. So I want to make sure that I had this nicely spaced so that nothing ends up too close to the top. So I'll just go ahead and add that sentiment up there above the tree. and everything's nicely spaced. I'm going to add some foam squares to my tree so that all my little stamped images can pop up off that card base. So in addition to that big tree, which really fills up this slimline card really nicely, I have the barrel of apples, which I'm adding the little sign. I've stamped the words apple picking in the sign. There are different choices of what to add to this little sign in the stamp set. And I'm just going to put this on the left side of my tree. And that way I have room on the right side of the tree for this little guy who's climbing the ladder and picking some apples. So I'm going to go ahead and add him to the ladder. And then I can add foam just to the side of the ladder that's going to hang off the tree. And then the rest can just glue directly to the tree. I also have a jug of cider and a couple of the little individual apples that I'm going to sprinkle around and fill in my scene down here on the ground. So I'm just adding some foam squares to those as well so that they can be popped up like everything else. And then of course the jug of cider right here overlapping that bushel of apples. And then I'm adding some stardust stickles glitter or you could use the sparkle glaze pen and adding that just to the tops of the apples. I just think it's kind of fun and adds a little bit of shine. This would also be fun to cover all the apples in the clear glaze so that they're shiny like a shiny apple in the tree. And then here is my finished card. I love that big giant happy fall sentiment and I love the colors of this card and how it all came together. Thank you so much for these amazing cards, Shari. I am absolutely in love with this cute fall card. And then the amazing technique that you did on that trick-or-treat card is so cool, and I can't wait to try it. And I just love this happy Hanukkah card, too. And next up, we have some incredible cards by the design team. And first up, Maureen created a double slider card. She has the trick or treat out on the front. And as you pull the double slider surprise, she has this really, really cute scene, which is just adorable. Then next up, we have a beautiful card by Elise. And I love this Happy Hanukkah card and how she added all of the candles resembling a menorah around the letters. This Happy Fall card by Callie is so gorgeous. I love how she turned the barrel of apples on its side and all the apples are spilling out. This Happy Hanukkah card by Rebecca is so beautiful. I love the giant Happy Hanukkah cut from the silver metallic cardstock. 
This Happy Fall card by Grace. Wow, look at those sunflowers. They're my favorite flower, so I love this card so much. Audrey used the giant trick or treat with our awesome simple stripes background for the coolest card. I love the cobwebs in the corner too. This card by Letitia is so beautiful and I love how she used the Let It Shine Starry Skies paper with the giant Happy Hanukkah. The cool thing about these giant words is they're great titles for layouts too and I just love this layout by Melissa and how she used the nitpicky winter paper too. Lynette's color combo is stunning for this trick-or-treat card. I love the ink blending that she did and all the stars she added all around the trick-or-treat. This happy fall card by Elena is so sweet and she used our ugly and bright bear but gave him a little apple sweater which is just adorable. This card by Yanea is awesome. I love how she added the little layer on top of the or in trick or treat. And then this happy fall card by Megan is just beautiful. I love that barrel of apples with the bow. And then here we have another beautifully inked background by Tammy for a giant happy fall card that's just stunning. And then this trick or treat card by Megan just makes me smile. I love how she used the tiny gift box jack-o-lantern on a card. And then Letitia created the most gorgeous background with our awesome fall leaf stencil and the giant happy fall. That color combo is just beautiful. And then this card by Linda is just amazing for the giant happy Hanukkah. I love it mixed with the hope it's delightful sentiment. So we cannot wait to see what you create with these giant word dies. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.